screwdriver is fucking retarded. I had to. Oh, fuck. <coughs> I can't believe this fucking driver. I can't fucking believe this driver. Three times you went the wrong way. I, I'm like beyond. I'm beside this one now. I'm trying to get it over. Well, this is part of our daily activities here in Vegas. This is part of the reason. It's frustrating and part of your day. There's no transportation. I can't get a, I can't get a fucking thing. I'm trying to get to work, I can't get a car. We have money waiting and I can't get there because I can't get a fucking Uber. minutes for an Uber. After we've already waited for 30 minutes. I don't know what to do, I don't know. Well, so the guy, the Uber will be here in 15 minutes. Well, I'm frustrated right now. I don't feel like talking. I'm just frustrated. So I'm just trying to just, I'm just really fucking frustrated right now. So I'm just not in the mood to talk right now. I just, I'm trying to just. Well, we got 20 minutes to stand here together. I know that, what, but what? right now I'm just fucking frustrated. Well, why can't we just talk about something else while we're waiting for 20 minutes? And just like, you know what I mean? Why do we have to stand here for 20 minutes just being frustrated? Well, I'm trying to get over that right now, right now. So I need to gather myself because right now I'm really frustrated. It's, you know, like when well, maybe just express, that's what I'm saying. Express yourself one time right now, what's going on, and then let's move on. I'm frustrated because I can't get an Uber, and they are canceling on me and going the wrong way. And I have a call waiting that I can't get to because I can't get a car. That's why I'm frustrated. Okay, excuse me. No, I'm just saying. Well, thanks for, trying, thanks for participating in our fucking daily blogs. Anyways, this is the sunrise here. I don't know, just, I, I'd rather just stay home than stand out here for 20 minutes and, you know, she's going to be fucking pissed off all fucking day. I'm just really frustrated because I'm making sure the client doesn't cancel while the Ubers keep canceling on me. And it's very, very frustrating because he wanted me there like an hour ago. And now we've been waiting on these Ubers for a half hour. The one guy went the wrong way three times. We live on Las Vegas Boulevard. How hard is it to get here? I just, I, I am beside myself. And now it was another 20 minute wait. Now it's 12 minutes. We started this with an 11 minute wait for an Uber. About 40 minutes ago. Now we're back to 12 minutes. It's just a nightmare. I'm so tired of Vegas. This place is the biggest fucking shithole.
we get the call? As if you weren't for the last 20 minutes. What were you doing then? I'm telling you, they're doing their own shit on, I see them stop at the gas stations while you're, while you're on their time. These, I've seen them stop over here at the 76. The other guy went to win while we were waiting. And then he got on the 215 highway. When we live on Las Vegas Boulevard, he was, he was at Venetian. He was supposed to turn. They changed the rule. What? Remember how they were complaining they weren't getting paid to go pick people up? Yeah. Now Uber's paying them for picking people up. Yes, now they're doing their own so fucking now personal shit. And they're getting paid for that. And you can see they go off route. And you're like, what the fuck? That's why it's taking 20 minutes, because they're doing personal shit now. Yeah. Because Uber's paying them on the way here. Yeah. That's why they... You know, this guy, one day I was waiting forever. He had taken forever. And he stops over there for like 10 minutes at the fucking gas station. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? As I'm waiting to try to get to work. And he's just right there. And then this guy was 10 minutes before he says, I'm on my way. It had said, you know, he was on his way for 10 minutes. And now 10 minutes later he goes... Oh, I'm on my way. As if, what were you doing the other last 10 minutes? Weren't you already supposedly on your way? Now you're just on your way 10 minutes later? From a 20 minute ride? It's ridiculous. It's absolutely insane. Not only did he go the wrong way, but then when he was supposed to take the route to come back, he went the complete opposite way again. Like he got on the, that's when I was like, oh, this guy is absolutely terrible. So he got on the 215, and then instead of they wanted him to head this way, he started heading back towards the strip again. That's when I was like, oh, this is absolutely insane. Okay, this guy looks like he's finally, um, or they're like, I get they're getting the unemployment, but like, that's so short-lived, you know? Like, it's great to get free money, but the problem is like, they're not driving, and then like, they're causing all this nonsense, and then pretty soon they're gonna have to drive again, you know what I mean? So it's like, I don't know, people are just kind of like, living in this little bubble, and it's just causing so much drama to people that are trying to just do the regular thing, you know what I mean? People that are, I can't even imagine if I had a job that I had to be there like exactly on time. If you had to rely on an Uber, you'd be fucked. And the drivers are absolutely retarded, some of them. Like that guy, we live on Las Vegas Boulevard. He was on Las Vegas Boulevard and he went the wrong way three times to get to us. I don't even know how that's possible. Cause I get you, he got on the highways, but like it's Las Vegas Boulevard. So how, how hard would it be to figure out, oh, getting back on Las Vegas Boulevard. If you're an Uber driver, I mean, that should not have been difficult. We are South Las Vegas Boulevard. Got on the, he should have got on the 15 and got right back up. I can't believe he didn't know this as an Uber driver. That he was like, where could it be? It says South Las Vegas Boulevard, but where is this address? Let me check the, I mean, this is insane. This one's now four minutes away. Look at that sunrise. It's a beautiful morning. I'm sorry I had a meltdown, but I just can't stand when these Uber t and then when it's really bad when it's the incompetence of the driver too. Like that other driver just went the wrong way three times. That's not even a um, issue with the COVID. That's an issue with that guy's a fucking moron. Yeah. You know what I mean? So then that's frustrating. I just couldn't believe what was going on with that Uber. That's what was bothering me. It wasn't, if it had been like a solid Uber that just said 20 minutes, here's the thing. If it had been an Uber that validly said 20 minutes and the guy was on his way, I would have been fine. The fact was it started with 11 minutes and the driver went the wrong way three times is why I was fucking losing it. And every time, the time was getting further away. Like he was getting further from us, not closer to us. And literally he was taking the wrong highways, going further away from us each time. I'm like, wait, now the time was increasing from the original time. More and more and more, after we'd already waited 20 minutes and then it was like, oh, 
we started with 11 minutes. By the end of it, they wanted 17 minutes for him to come back. After we'd waited about 30 minutes. So like 47 minutes wait for this guy. And that's assuming he didn't go the wrong way again. I was like, forget it. I just canceled that one. Oh, I'm gonna get my money back on that. That was absolutely ridiculous. They better not even charge me on that. Okay, good. I was gonna say, if they even tried to charge me for that guy, that would be insane. They, the thing knows kind of like what sees what happens, so that I would have lost my shorts on that one because that was so out of whack. I mean, the guy, the, the worst Uber driver. What did your client last night say about his experience in Vegas? Oh, horrid. He comes to Vegas often. He says he never wants to come back. He said it was the worst. He wanted to leave immediately after getting to the hotel. He was gonna go back to the airport and just leave because he came here for a business thing. He had to meet with a client about weed and then he's in the uh, cannabis industry. And he met with Planet 13 and after meeting with them, and he went back to his hotel and it was a nightmare to check in and he said he wanted to just go right to the airport and just leave and get the earliest flight out of here. But um, he decided to have, he wanted to see me. He had been planning on seeing me. So only reason why he decided to stay. And then uh, the, the rental car was a nightmare. So we're not the only one that loses it at the rental car. He lost it on him because first, they told him that his car that he had reserved was not available. He wanted like a luxury car and they said it wasn't available. Even though there was like rows of luxury cars, he said, he's like, what about all of these? And so then they're like, fine. So they gave him one of those and then it was dirty. It was, they hadn't cleaned it. Like they left people's trash in it. It hadn't been serviced. <coughs> and um, so then he's like, what the hell? So he goes back and yells at him. And then, so she gave him like this really nice Range Rover. So he had like a really nice Range Rover. Um, because, okay, one minute away, get masks on. Okay. One minute away, finally, let's see. Hopefully you don't stop at the 7-Eleven. He's right up there. The last guy stopped at the 7-Eleven. Okay. Masks on.